Yes, sir. YouTube, what it do? It's your boy RJ back another video for you guys. And uh, yeah, I've been kind of off on streaming on Twitch, and uh, that's on me. Um, you know, sometimes going through certain things that can affect your lifestyle, you know, affect your mental. Um, it definitely can bring you down a lot. I apologize on that on my part. It's me being kind of inactive. But this is not the video to talk about that. This video is pretty much. A, a, a talking video straightforward on where my team is heading how my team gets to this route now I've always I'm not gonna say I've always been a my team player uh, this is my like my second and a half to third year playing my team on a, on a consistent basis and we all know you know especially when trying to be in a competitive comp scene um, your focus is win that 250k bag. There's only one big, not to say there's one big tournament, but there's only one official big tournament that everybody's focused on with my team, and that's, you know, brought to you by NBA 2K, 250k. Um, that's where you get a lot of recommendations, a lot of, a lot of, uh, what's the word I want to use with saying promotion. Um, you get a lot from playing and making it, at least, qualifying. You get a lot of, a lot of that, a lot of that good viewage, I would definitely say. But when it when that ends and you lose, my team goes down drastically. They drop cards, they keep up with content to up to date, you know, as much as they can. Now, don't get me wrong, and this is why I made I'm, I'm making this video because it's not to talk bad about my team. It's just pretty much where my team is heading. Um, you do have some that still play it. You do have some that don't. It really can be, it starts to get boring after playing the same thing over and over and over for nothing. Now, don't get me wrong. You can be playing for something, which is pride, but in reality, you're playing for nothing. Um, you're not winning money from it unless you plan a little tournament. And there's not really a lot of tournaments around. I know I host my tournaments here and there. Um, like I said, I, I supposed to have a tournament that's supposed to be going on, but I, like I said, I'm going through a mental situation. But I'm gonna definitely start hosting some more back. But my team dies down drastically. They bring out cards every other day, every other, you know, every two days or so. Every week, they bring out a new pair of cards. Um, what happens is a lot of people go through a situation to where it's pretty much now look, I'm going to go out here and play my team for the purposes of getting this card. And what I mean by that is people will go out and play my team, get a card, and be like, hey, I got it on Twitter, right? And in reality, it's like, are you really excited and happy about that? If you're not someone that has some type of fan base, supportive base, that people that like seeing you play with the new cards, getting, getting new cards, I'm not gonna sit there and just say, oh, it's not worth it for you, it's not worth it for them. But what I will say though is, that you're kind of wasting your time, you know? But at the same time, I mean, if you having fun with it, hey, be my guest, have fun with it. But I know for my sake, it, it starts to get boring down the line. Um, if you're not a content creator and you, you, you know, you keep collecting the cards, I mean, what I mean by content creator is you making videos or you do have a, a supportive base of people that see you on Twitter and you're talking about the cards or, or using your account to make videos on somebody else's channel for content purposes that's what i would definitely say in regards to this game um now i've made a couple of videos you know my three two zone defense i made a video on the 10 reasons you know why you keep losing and, and stuff like that let me know in the comment section below you know if you guys want to see another video or what type of videos would you guys want to see else more with um with my team from me um, I want to definitely try to get as much content out as possible while this is still going on. I know I can sit here and make a con make a video on a specific player itself. And I know a lot of people like watching gameplay videos, but my thing is, with gameplay videos, you have thousands, maybe hundreds, that stream, that, that stream or make gameplay videos on a specific player. But if you guys got specific players that you guys want me to do and talk about, just let me know. Y'all know I keep my opinions real. I'm not gonna overhype a card. If I if I don't like a card, I do not like a card. I will tell you guys this card is not it. I'm not gonna sit there and 
tell you guys don't get the car because it's not it when i'm saying it's not it it's not it for my preference and i think a lot of people you know they don't they don't do that in some of the videos they'll mainly talk about oh if this card is the hottest card around you need this card this is the card this is a must card you must have on your team and stuff like that but in reality not a lot of people know how to use the same card you know you can be good with one card and the other person that gets that card sucks so that's when I come in in, in in my videos I don't recommend cards to say oh this is a must get card I will only say if you know how to play with certain players in this game you know how to get certain shots off with certain players in this game I would definitely recommend using a certain player that's just my preference on a, you know I keep it real I keep it 100 real at the end of the day y'all know how I get down but my team is just so far along that I really hope for 2K21, you know, they can at least throw in some like weekend leagues. Do something. Weekend leagues for VC. You know what I'm saying? Weekend leagues, maybe for MT. Make it playable all year round instead of six months. Because we all are looking forward to 250K, don't get me wrong. But if you make it playable to where you got tournaments for VC, tournaments for MT, giving us opportunity to play. To make some type of change instead of spending our monies just to get VC, just to get MT, to open packs and hopefully get lucky and pull a card. Then by any means necessary, that's I'm telling you, that would be a big drastic change 2K can do. Like that would be a big drastic uh, change that 2K can definitely do to the point where we'll we'll accept it and be like, you know what? I'm glad that they did that because just playing, just going 12 and 0 and getting one card and then you're done, it can't be it. There needs to be more to that. There needs to be a, an ability to say, all right, look, I went 12 and 0. All right, I qualify for the weekend league. All right, now I'm going to get to play in this league. Play for something. Even throw in players. You can throw in a player for the tournament. Either, either a certain amount of people that win or a certain person that wins the whole tournament. I mean, I know they probably can't do that due to the fact of how big it would be, but I mean, I don't know. My thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make a video on talking about that a little bit more because I really have some feedback in regards to that situation. And what I mean by that situation, the biggest feedback that I got and I might talk about is pretty much how people don't play the game to play the game anymore. People play the game to find broken factors, broken hidden gems, broken hidden moves. That's going to be the next video that I'm going to talk about. I definitely appreciate you guys tuning in to this video. As always, peace and love from all you guys. Make sure you guys hit the